I don't think abortions are uncommon. I think what's uncommon is people talking about them. And this is something specifically right now that needs to be talked about because there's so many people in my life that have no idea that I went through an abortion this past March, you know, and this video might be the first time that they find out. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Sydney Rain and I go by the Herb Fairy and I make content here and on TikTok that has to do with herbalism, wellness, emotional healing, and honestly anything else that comes to mind that I want to share with y'all. And today I wanted to talk about my own personal experience with abortion. Given what's going on right now with Roe versus Wade being overturned and all hell that has broken loose over the internet, as it should. So in December, I essentially decided that I would quit my birth control, essentially cold turkey, and just automatically transfer over to using herbal contraceptives to prevent pregnancy. So ever since November, I've made it a point to start researching herbal contraceptives. And so I decided that I would take neem consistently. I took it by pill form. Some people like to apply the oil topically, but I chose to do the pill form. And neem is known to be pretty effective when it comes to um, preventing pregnancy. And it was effective because it works. it worked for about five months for me before I myself got a little inconsistent with making sure that I was taking the pills and just being a little more careless with tracking where my body was during my time of the month and um, all that. And just to clarify, herbal contraceptives are essentially herbal supplement supplements that are used to um, either prevent implantation of a fertilized egg, to promote menstruation, or to even act as a spermicide. So essentially anything that would prevent a pregnancy through the use of different constituents that exist within the herbs themselves. And this is only one form of natural birth control. Um, there are a lot of people that also do fertility awareness, which has to do with either tracking your rhythm and your cycle throughout the month and just avoiding days when the likelihood of getting pregnant is higher. Some people like to measure their basal body temperature to see when they are ovulating and some people even like to measure the mucus of their cervix as well to have more awareness about their fertility, fertility and when and when not to essentially participate in intercourse. So I started taking neem in December and Honestly, I had no issues with it um, up until March and I think that was just because in the beginning I was a lot more consistent. I was making sure that I was tracking my days. I would also track my fertility window um, so I would know which essential like week I probably should stay away from any type of unprotected sex or um, do anything that might lead to pregnancy outside of essentially taking my knee. And I've been thinking about making this video for a long time. I feel like I owe it to the audience of people who watch my content and take note and advice and give me so much positive feedback and affirmation that the information and the work that I'm doing is valuable and useful and helpful to people out there. And I didn't want my audience to feel like I've been ingenuine because I'm saying one thing online, but in my personal life, I'm going through the exact opposite. So this is something that I've been wanting to do for a while, but honestly, I was embarrassed. You know, who wants to talk about something with so much faith and confidence just to find out that when they apply it to their own life, they were dead wrong. And it's not even that I believe that I'm wrong. I think that I was just not as careful as I should have been. And that has nothing to do with the herbs. It has nothing to do with anything that I've talked about. It has to do with my own personal lifestyle and the choices that I made that led up to that moment. And I don't think abortions are uncommon. I think what's uncommon is people talking about them. And this is something specifically right now that needs to be talked about because 
there's so many people in my life that have no idea that I went through an abortion this past March, you know, and this video might be the first time that they find out, which is fine because I also have a choice to, you know, share this information or not share it with people. Um, honestly, talking about this is a lot harder than I want it to be. And I feel like that sort of just comes from my own personal beliefs um, and conditioning around abortion and the stigma around it. You know, when I found out that I was pregnant, like my initial thought was, oh my God, like, this is what my parents said would happen. This is what the church said would happen. I am a horrible person. I have ultimately fucked up my entire life. Even if I did get an abortion, like I did, um, this would be essentially a stain on my character and who I am and essentially ruin, like I'm ruined. That's kind of how I felt. And I'm really proud of myself for being able to navigate those feelings with grace and compassion for myself and realize that the reason why I got an abortion is because it's what's best for me. You know, I am not in a place emotionally, financially, physically to have a child right now. I am in a committed relationship, but I don't believe having a child is something that we need to include in our growing relationship. And I hate how even while I'm making this video, it feels like I'm in defense and I have to defend myself. Like I'm automatically preparing for this overwhelmingly negative response to this video and what I went through and my opinions. And that's why I think it's so important that I'm making this video in the first place because having an abortion was my reproductive right. It's reproductive justice, you know? No childbearing body should feel like they don't have complete control over it is what they do with their body and the decisions that they make, especially over something that is so intimate and personal. And even if I was in a position to have a child, um, knowing that I have the choice to simply not have one because I don't want to is empowering and It's just so unfortunate that that is being challenged because this was a very new situation to me and I honestly felt pretty hopeless um, in deciding whether I would do an herbal abortion or a medical abortion. I did go with medical just because I realized that an herbal abortion, if this were to ever happen again, is something that I would want to go through, but I was a little insecure about my own abilities to do that and I did not want to create more health problems with me because that is a very serious decision to make. One of the main takeaways and points that I would like to make in this video is I do not believe my experience with herbal contraceptives reflects the efficacy of herbal contraceptives as a whole. You know, um, I did not make up that Neem could prevent pregnancies. I did not make up any of the information that I have shared. And because I shared it, I truly did believe in it. And I still do. I believe that my own actions and my carelessness um, in certain situations is essentially what led to this pregnancy. And so I take full responsibility with that. And I don't want anyone to feel like any of the information that I have spread in the past or will spread in the future is incorrect or something that I myself don't even believe in because I wouldn't be talking about it if I didn't have full faith in it. And in no way do I regret my decision fully. I think that I did what was best for me and as much as it did hurt me emotionally and I was really sad that this decision is the one that is best for me, I don't regret it in any way. The only reason I think I made a mistake is because I don't want to be pregnant um, and I should have acted accordingly knowing that that is something that I don't want to deal with. But in all seriousness, sex is not the enemy, neither is pregnancy and neither is an abortion. It's anybody trying to tell you what you can and can't do with your body and that's the bottom line. So honestly, I think that's all I have the strength to say today, but I do want to emphasize that these conversations are important and if anyone comes across this and wants to 
talk about their own experiences or leave a comment about how this same thing is impacting them. I'd love to hear it. And this will probably be a series because I know I'm gonna create this video and then I'm going to think about everything else that I really wanted to say that kind of got choked up in the moment. So this is probably not the end. And I'd encourage anyone else who has an experience that they want to speak about to speak about it. Make a video, even if it's the shittiest video that has ever graced the internet. It will still help somebody. It will reach somebody out there. And I think coming together and staying connected and realizing there's a community out there that is ready and willing to support you um, is waiting for you to come to it. Ooh, what was I saying? So yeah, I think I will just end it here then. If you've made it this far, thank you so much. You're so appreciated and I will talk to you soon.